Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Set Associative Mapping. This is one of the mapping technique of cache memory. Here I will tell you what is the concept behind how cache memory mapping is being done and with the help of an example you will be able to understand the concept of cache hit and cache miss. Let us begin. To start with the cache memory mapping you know what is cache memory and why it is required. Cache memory that is a extremely high speed memory and cache memory is required to balance the speed mismatch between the main memory and the CPU because you know that the clock of processor that runs very fast while main memory access time is relatively slower. So cache memory balance that particular mismatch. Now what is cache memory mapping means this is a technique or you can say a process via which the content of main memory that is being brought into the cache memory means content of a block of main memory is copied into a line of cache memory. That is what the technique is. There are three types of cache memory mapping, direct mapping, associative mapping and set associative mapping. In this video, I will be talking about set associative mapping. The previous two videos were about direct mapping and associative mapping. But when you have to understand the set associative mapping, you must know about the direct and associative. Coming to the set associative mapping, what is the set associative mapping? This particular mapping technique, it utilizes the concept of both direct mapping and associative mapping. Direct mapping concept is all used to identify which particular block of main memory is copied into which set and within that particular set the line which is to be used for the copying data that is done with the help of the associative mapping. I will be telling you in more detail. So here there is an advantage of set associative cache mapping memory that its performance is better in comparison to the previous two types of mapping which is the direct and associative and it gives highest hit ratio. In the earlier video I have told you about the hit ratio which is being denoted by H. This is what the number of hits upon the total number of attempts. And set associative mapping, it has a limitation or you can say the drawback that it is very expensive because here sets are going to be formed and as many as sets we are going to utilize, we are going to make. So depending upon those number of sets, the cost increases. So its limitation is it is very expensive. What happened? As I have told you that set associative mapping it utilizes the properties of direct and associative both so here what happens when we say that a set associative cache it utilizes k lines per set in general we have said that if there are k lines per set that is known as k way set associative cache as you can see in this particular diagram there are two sets set 0 and set 1 here in each and every sets how many cache lines are there? There are two lines. It means this is two way set associative cache. In case there are four cache lines in a set or eight cache lines in a set. So that will be known as a four way set associative cache or eight way set associative cache. Here K doesn't mean the number of sets. You must remember it. K means the number of lines per set, right? So cache lines are grouped into sets. As you can see here, there are four lines and all these four lines have been grouped into two sets and each and every set consists of two lines. Now, a block of main memory can be copied or can be mapped either to set 0 or with set 1. Either or. 
means any of these two here there are only two sets means here the concept of direct mapping is being utilized then suppose set 0 is being selected for the for copying the data now within the set 0 any one of the available cache line can be used for copying the data means that is what the associative mapping is being used so as i've told you that combination of both direct and associative set 0 is being selected first that is with the help of direct map, uh, mapping and within a set available cache line that is being done with the associative mapping but now which particular block of main memory can be mapped to which particular set so there is a formula to find out cache set number that is what the main memory block address modulo number of sets in the cache modulo is what the remainder operator Now let us discuss in detail about the physical address and how to do the mapping of a block from main memory into the cache memory. So as I have told you that this is the formula which is to be used to find out the cache set number. Here you can see I have written some of the data in the main memory. So let us start from this number. This is block 0. right? So main memory block address it was 0. Modulo number of sets in the cache here how many sets I have taken two sets so 0 modulo 2 that is what remainder is 0. Second if we talk about block number 1 you can see 1 modulo 2 that is what the remainder is 1. For second 2 which is the memory block address modulo number of sets in the cache 2 mod 2 which is 0 set 0. Next for 3 you can see. 3 mod 2 means 1, remainder is 1 means this is mapped with the set 1. So you can see block number 0 is mapped with set 0. There are two lines in set 0. So any one line, whichever is free, copy data can be copied uh, into that particular line. Suppose this is free and it contains this particular number, right? Block number 0 of main memory. Block number 1 of main memory that is copied into set one so let us say here the data which is being copied four five six seven then block number two is copied with set zero block number two has the con content eight nine ten eleven and block number three let us say data is copied 12 13 14 and 15 right here you can also see there are 16 blocks in the main memory and each block contains four words to total 64 words there are four lines in the cache memory and each line contains four words so total 16 words there must be same number of words must be copied means that have the capability into the main memory that must be equal to the cache memory so this is what you will be aware that which particular block of main memory is copied to which particular cache set number this is for 0, this is for 1, let me write it, this is for 0, this is for 1, block number 2 here, block number 3 here. Now let us see about the physical address. So physical address for set associative mapping, it has three fields, tag, set number and block offset. Tag along with the set number that is known as a block number. So how to compute the number of bits? As you can see over here, there are total 64 words. 64 words means 2 raised to the power 6. It means total 6 bits in the physical address. Block offset, block size is what? 4. 4 means 2 raised to the power 2. It means block offset that would be of 2 bits. Now you can see set number. How many sets are there in the cache line? 2 sets. 2 means 2 raised to the power 1. It means 1 bit is used to denote the set number. Total blocks are 16. 16 is what? Nothing but 2 raised to the power 4. It means 4 bits are required to represent the block number. So 2 bits here for block offset, 1 bit for set number. Total 6 bits are there. So 6 minus 3, 3 bits are required which are used as a as you can see here I have listed out some of the block numbers 
ब्लॉक नंबर मीन्स मेन मेमोरी ब्लॉक नंबर दिस इज ब्लॉक जीरो दिस इज ब्लॉक वन टू थ्री If you are writing it into the binary block number, which is of four bits, right? So how you are going to write for zero, 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 for one, triple zero, one, for two, like this, for three, like this. Block number it consists of four bits, but initial three bits that denotes the tag. So you can see what is tag initial three digits, and last one bit is used to denote the set number so last one bit you can see the set number from here also you can see block number 0 that is marked with set 0 block number 2 that is also marked with set 0 right block number 1 and 3 that is marked with set 1 right this is how you can write it down so it means now you can write down the tag for the cache memory here you can see set 0 set 1 and just you have written the tags and the content of the cache memory is what this is whichever is been like copied right so this is now you will be able to identify first which block of main memory is going to be copied in which set then within that set any one of the available cache line will be selected for the copying data now let us take an example to give you a glimpse how to find out the concept whether there is a cache hit or miss if this is the example just randomly i have taken if the physical address is this means cpu is searching for this particular address right that this must be of 6 bits so first there are 6 bits first three is what tag then this is what set number so first this set number is being searched right set number is being searched means this set you have to look into this particular set after searching or after matching with the set number then you have to go for the tag this is the tag tag is what triple zero then within this set you have to find out let me show it over here within the set 0 you have to search for the tag tag which is triple zero which is matches right it means this is the cache hit and within this particular cache line you have to read the word or the data which is available at this position this is for the zeroth word this is for first word then second word then third word if you write it into the binary 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 so 0 1 means this particular word will be copied from the cache memory will be taken by the cpu one more example if the physical address is this now first what we have to look for the set set 1 means we have to search into the set 1 now let us go to the tag within this set what is the tag tag is 001 which is already available now within this cache line this first word that would be copied so that is also the cache hit let me give you one more example suppose you are writing 010 if this is the uh, physical address right for which cpu is searching a word now first we have to do what we have to search for the tag sorry set set number 1 means this particular set now within this set this tag is to be searched so search within this set there are two lines whether you are going to find out this tag 010 this is not available if this tag is not available so this is cache miss means now what is to be done data is not available in the cache memory that is to be accessed from the main memory right so that is what the concept of the cache miss i hope now this particular point must be clear to you means set associative mapping it utilizes both concept direct mapping and associative mapping thank you so much for watching this video